Also, as the heel of fire continues to spread, the governor flies to the scene to see what can be done. First of all, good news and bad on the fire front. On the downside, the Whitewater Baldy Complex fire, now the largest in state history, grew another 20,000 acres overnight to 190,000 acres. But there is finally some containment. It's only 5%, but it's the first definite indicator of progress, and the weather is improving. Humidity levels are higher, and that is helping firefighters. Governor Susana Martinez flew over the fire this afternoon, then landed at reserve for a full briefing. That's also where News 13's Alex Goldsmith is. Alex? Yeah, Dick, this record setting fire has burned a dozen homes in the Willow Creek area, has threatened other homes in Mogollon, and it's, uh, excuse me, Mogollon, and it's still burning strong. That was enough for the governor to come out here to pledge her support and get a full briefing. She arrived here around 4. She was briefed on the very latest. She has also pledged the state's full support in handling the fire, giving crews whatever they need to help contain it. Now, easier winds and higher humidity have allowed fire crews to start battling this on the air and on the ground. Those easier winds definitely coming to firefighters' aid. But I spoke to deputy, uh, the deputy incident commander out here not too long ago. He says this fire could still grow to around 230,000 to 240,000 acres. And the governor has several concerns of her own about this fire. The size um, and the very difficult terrain uh, and making sure that we don't lose a firefighter or anyone who is fighting this fire because of the difficult terrain that we're dealing with. Now, earlier in the week, we've seen we've seen uh, homes burn from the air around Willow Creek. In talking to the deputy incident commander not too long ago, he told me that they think they're, they're fairly safe in the Mugion area and the Willow Creek area in terms of avoiding any more of those structures burning. Now, they are setting up protection lines for a worst-case scenario. He tells me that's going to be about a 390,000-acre box to try and contain this fire should the worst happen and the winds pick up again. Back to you, Dick. Well, obviously, much more to come. Thank you, Alex. They put the size of the fire in perspective now. It's almost twice as big as the city of Albuquerque. The cost to fight this monster, more than $9 million so far and counting.